All right, so this is basically going to be a really quick masterclass on editing portraits because Josh Ball is very, very, very good at portrait editing. I think his style is so filmic, so professional. If you don't have a style at the moment, you don't know what style to do, I'd like to definitely suggest having a look at Josh's work just because it's so minimally edited, but the effect it has is really smooth. He uh, does a really great job of keeping... Uh, his edits consistent and not over edited so what we're doing is turning this one from the right here to the one the reference screenshot of his instagram so i'm just going to crop things around and post to give us some room so the curves are done here but we'll go over them shortly for the settings 2.8 so there's nice softness to the foreground background i think i, I see him shooting a lot with the 50 mil prime low iso it's nice and bright shutter just to expose the image so yeah pretty well exposed so this is straight out of the camera yeah he, he nailed the white balance and everything and now we've just got to try to give the image some character and style through editing okay just before we get into doing the curves let's just he has a very common trait i believe of bringing down the highlights so i'll try to dive deeper into what this looks like so it's just a, it's a flatness of the image you can see how flat everything is when it's to the left and then how glowy it is the other way contrast a bit a bit darker dehaze down for softness and you can see that raises the shadows as well so it's going to reduce contrast we want it nice and smooth so down and then we'll even do texture for softness as well and shadows we just want to see more detail uh, go a little bit warmer and take out some purple tone with this split okay vibrance his, his colors have a nice pop to them and saturation down okay so if we just reset so if we just reset that's what we've done so far you can already see that we're a long long way there um even the colors and we've even touched split toning in hsl yet and also what we're gonna go over a little later on is the brushes and filters so i've got a few here already done and at the end i'll sort of explain what they're doing okay as for curves how do we know we need to do these what effect do they have i mentioned he likes the like a smoothness to his highlights so we're gonna do a bit extra in this curve um, so as you can see flatness just doing it a bit okay so this curve is there's not much going on here he's doing that effect again here in the highlights this is just so there's not too much contrast in the shadows you can see how you get that little shine it's interesting the people that get the shine not by raising the blacks because getting getting the shine by raising the blacks would look like this this is what most people do to get a little shine which looks good it's interesting when people do this so i think you get you get like a, a different shine higher up in the image like in this brighter shadows okay and then color channels we have lots of contrast coming into the shadows so this is the dark part of the image watch my other trainings if you don't understand the curves lots of contrast lots of contrast we're leaving the highlights alone obviously we've got way less blue than the other colors so we are getting lots of warmth into the image especially the highlights and we're getting more blue in the dark shadows so that's sort of balancing out those warm tones and the highlights and then the cool tones and the dark shadows so it's very very easy to see that the red and that the red and green are very similar and there's just so much warmth put in the highlights and then coolness put in the shadows with the, um, the use of this blue curve and then just so much contrast is put into the image using these curves and then this one is for fade and then this one for matte look a lot of people talk about um up here fine tune what i'll actually do is come all the way down because it's hard to get your colors right when your brightness and stuff isn't quite right so a little bit of a vignette just because our subject is so in the middle of the image and is so important to stand out while we're here just a little bit of green something like that so we want this warm and cool split again we want more warm tones so i would go shadows more warm tones you can see how that comes through highlights even some more not that much 
So now HSL, we should be done. So there's just little things like how bright is her hoodie in skin tone. Bring this down, I'd say. Yellows for a little bit of shine. Blues, deep, aquas, not much in the image. Bring them down, touch. Purple, magenta, very, not much in there. Not much in there. Now saturation, let's go. Just matching them up. Just looking at the other. I'm actually gonna bring yellows up. He, like the warm tones, it really emphasizes the yellows and warm tones. Again, there's not much blue and aqua in this. Well, there's lots of blue in the car. Quite strong. Purple, not a lot to be down. It's only a tiny bit of the car. Yellows play a bit of a role and they seem to be a bit more of an orange rather than like yellow so we'll go somewhere around here green not much green blue so the car we look about bang on so i'm just going to leave it about there okay we're about done and i'll show you the masking so we got this one on the shoe i just thought the shoe was very very we we brought up the exposure just to give the light light hits it looks nice but this one just a just a little brush on her face we increase the contrast and the exposure a tiny bit just on her face brings her face out a touch the shoe was like overwhelmingly bright so just exposure down just so her like face is the like is the brightest thing in the image and then the subject the whole subject exposure up the tiniest bit contrast up the tiniest bit for the colors are kind of washed out you can see there's a real purple tone as well somehow probably from the car like it's in her skin and it's in the shoe and stuff and then we get this matted look it's kind of underexposed like if you looked at the histogram i don't use the histogram and i don't really think anyone should so it looks underexposed because of all this like matted style we did but we still see as much detail and it looks way smoother it looks way nicer so again here's reset after so curves played a really big role in this you can see the contrast and smoothness and a lot of warmth hsl didn't do a lot uh, a little bit of split training to warm it up uh for sharpening i'll probably bring sharpening right down white balance was pretty bang on at the beginning but as i said there's like there was lots of purple tone uh in the original so we just like took out that purple tone and then clarity texture dehaze is all just like style so up to you with the like the soft look lower contrast bit of haze texture just sort of blurs the image a little bit i think softening your image makes it look more filmic uh yeah sharpening down also helps that vignetting just because the subject's bang in the middle i think it helps i think on her face maybe dehaze it i feel like there's more detail in the face for his yeah something like that maybe or like a bit more clarity because we took it out um in a different area i think the face looks a little has more detail now it's back to uh how it was originally so again let's go reset after okay okay comment down below and i will catch you in the next month.